This girl cried her eyes out when a 60-year-old man offered to marry her. She didn't want him. She didn't want this sort of life for herself, but it was the only way to save her family. Little did she know that she would learn the old man's secret, and that would change everything. Daisy lived with her parents and elder brother Sam in a rural area. The family was quite poor and they did all sorts of low-income jobs at some point. They were homeless and lived off the streets, but despite how difficult things were, Daisy's parents ensured they sent their kids to school. The siblings performed very well in their academics. Luckily for Daisy after her high school education, she got a scholarship to study in high school. A few years later, Daisy now 26 graduated college and worked as a secretary. She wanted to have a family of her own as soon as possible, but sadly no man wanted her. You see many men ask Daisy to go on dates with them, but whenever she told them about her background, they cut communications with her. They wanted nothing to do with a woman with such a poor background. They felt Daisy wouldn't love them genuinely and would only be with them for their money. Daisy's brother wasn't left out of this mess, either all the women he approached talked down to him because of his financial status. Well, one day, this family got a big surprise. One day Daisy's parents received a handwritten letter from a 60-year-old man saying he wanted to marry Daisy when they saw the man's name. They were stunned. This man was the wealthiest in the community the following week. The man visited Daisy's parents and gave them several food items. They desperately needed it, so they didn't reject his gifts. He also promised to take good care of them. It seemed their suffering would now be over, but it would come at a huge sacrifice, their daughter's happiness. The couple called Daisy and told her everything about the old man Daisy found herself in a very tight spot. She thought about the man she would love to spend the rest of her life with, and this old man didn't even come close, but thinking about how much her family was suffering, did she have any other choice? Would it be right to reject this proposal when it was the only thing that could save herself and her family, Daisy thought, so she called her parents and told them, I will do anything for my family. I will marry the old man the next day. Daisy traveled home and her family got another letter from the old man saying he would come to the house early the next morning to see Daisy that morning. Daisy's parents made sure she wore her best outfit. Daisy was scared. What did the man look like? Would he treat her nicely? Would she even love him? Well, all her fears disappeared. The moment she saw the man and she knew things would work out between them. The old man didn't look great and his face was wrinkled, but his personality did the trick. He was very kind and humble, he was witty and Daisy learned a lot from him. They spoke as if they were long time, friends and they played like kids soon enough. The family set to wedding date and Daisy was a happy bride to be she didn't mind if the man was a lot older than her parents and she didn't care about his wealth. She just wanted to share her life with him. The old man kept visiting Daisy and as each day passed, she got more comfortable with him. She loved his clever nature and the way he respected and cared for her family. Finally, it was the morning of the wedding Daisy stood in front of her husband and took her wedding vows, but her mind was filled with fear and tears trickled down her cheeks. Was this real or a dream she needed to wake up from? Would things continue to be pleasant or catastrophe was waiting for her down this seemingly beautiful road? After a few hours, the wedding came to an end. The staff drove Daisy to one of the old man's luxury houses where he and his bride could consummate their marriage. Daisy took a quick shower and sat on the bed without saying a word to her husband. She was anxious. She had never been intimate with a man and she didn't know if the night would go well. Let me shower the old man, tapped Daisy's shoulders gently and went to the bathroom after 30 minutes when he still hadn't returned to the room. Daisy drifted off to sleep three hours later. Daisy suddenly woke up and she was scared out of her wits when she heard the shower running. What was he still doing there? Was he planning something evil? Is this the point of the story where she would pick up her bags and run Daisy wondered just then the bathroom door came open and the young and gorgeous man walked out. He approached Daisy with the most beautiful smile the young woman had ever seen. Daisy was frightened and she shook like a leaf, were her eyes deceiving her? Was this some kind of magic Daisy tried screaming, but the young man placed a finger over her lips and said, Hey, it's me. Daisy recognized the voice as that of her husband, but she didn't believe it was him. Just then the man pulled Daisy into his arms and kissed her. It was fierce, slow and passionate for a split. Second, Daisy got carried away by the kiss, but when she regained herself she broke away from the kiss. 
What kind of a joke is this get away from me? I don't know you. Daisy screamed and tears flowed out of her eyes. She rushed into the bathroom thinking her husband was there, but it was empty. Then she turned to the young man and screamed, I don't care if he looks old. I love him. He makes me happy. I want to share my life with him. So please give me back my husband Daisy thought the young man tricked her into getting married to the old man just so he could later have her. Why didn't you have the guts to come to me by yourself? Do you think having power and wealth gives you the right to treat and use people as you please? Please take me to my husband. I cannot withstand being away from him. Daisy fell to the ground and wept hard. The young man knelt beside her and tapped her shoulder gently. He explained to Daisy that he was indeed her husband and that he was never old. Instead, he wore makeup that made him look that way, but Daisy didn't believe him. It's me, my love. I am the one I'm here for you and I love you so much too. The man said then he recounted all the beautiful memories and conversations they had, but none of this convinced Daisy that he was indeed her husband. The young man told Daisy, there is something else she needed to know. He told her that he first met her at the office when he came for a business meeting with her boss at work. Daisy was also at the meeting since she was the secretary. The young man told Daisy that during that meeting he fell in love with her wits, smile, and humility. I asked your boss to tell me more about you, and he said you're selfless, honest, humble, and truthful. He was right. You love me for who I am and not all I own, and that's what I have been searching for. The young man said, but Daisy still didn't believe him at that point. The young man tapped his fingers and two makeup. Artists walked into the room and approached Daisy. These women transformed me from a young man to an old man, and I did all that because I wanted to find true love and I found that in you, the young man sat on a chair. Then he tapped his fingers again and the makeup artist started working on his face. Daisy washed in awe as the makeup artist slowly transformed the young man into the elderly man after three hours. The job was done and the man now looked exactly like the elder man. Daisy Mary Daisy burst into tears right away. She ran into the man's open arms and they shared a warm and tight hug. It's you, it's really you right now, it doesn't matter whether you look young or old. I am just happy that it is you. I am just happy you are the man I married. I promise you today that you will never regret loving me Daisy," said and kissed her husband, while the makeup artist cheered them on ever since then. These two lived happily ever after wonderful stories like this are a beautiful reminder that we should always look beyond people's appearances. Our loved ones may not have great looks, but maybe if we take a deep breath and look closer, we will see just how sweet, loving, and beautiful they are. It's never about how a person looks, but it is what is inside of them that matters. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on more inspiring stories like this.